Morning. It's Tortellini. Um, <clears throat> so here's a new way to play Zeus, right? It's you buy Yashenkai, you disassemble it to make the med style just like that. And then you use the leftover Kaya to basically make a Sanjin Kaya. And all this has to do with kind of the new popular way to play Zeus as a right clicker, especially in the mid game with your Ag Shard ability, um, Lightning Hands, which you can see right here. Um, you see, for a good while, this hero was all about kind of the magic build. Phylactery, Ag Scepter, Aether Length, Ethereal Blade. You guys know the drill. If you played Zeus, that's usually uh, where he likes to go. And that build honestly still works. It's actually still relatively popular. But we're seeing such a cool build for right click Zeus, um, at least in the mid game. And that right click build is technically still magic. But instead of relying on the cooldown of your abilities and mana pool as your limiters, it's, your, it's more like your attack speed and reach to actually hit your opponents on top of your mana pool and cooldown of your abilities. And basically the logic is that you're firing, you're firing on all cylinders and it honestly goes pretty hard. So as you already know, Ag Shard Lightning gives you 100 bonus attack range and it deals a weaker form of Arc Lightning from your attack. Um, and your illusions as well, when they attack, they deal an even weaker version. So like when you're normally attacking, as you might see here, uh, actually just probably just use the spells. Um, it's something like 50% when you attack, you'll, you'll deal an arc lightning out of your hands. And then if you use illusions while well, you're dealing 20% of that arc lightning uh, as well. Uh, arc lightning should be noted that it also has that old Zeus static field uh, ability. I don't know if you guys remember that. Um, basically the old static field ability was something like any spell you casted, it basically um, did like a current health damage percentage, something like 8%. Um, that's changed, now it's full blown onto Arc Lightning, so none of your other spells will do percentage health damage, but your Arc Lightning damage does. So obviously you can already see a lot of synergy between casting your Arc Lightning while auto attacking uh, a mini or miniature version or weaker version of that Arc Lightning. So for starters, you know, this is kind of where Yasha and Kaya comes in, right? For starters, you're buying an early Kaya as you secure kills with your usual starting build of Arcane Boots and Phylactery, uh, and means more kills as you start to transition into farming the mid game with Ag Shard when it becomes available uh, to get that Lightning Hands. And that means you're really saving mana on farming while also dealing uh, an explicitly larger amount of magical damage just by auto attacking, right? Um, secondly, you know, Yasha Kaya, it makes Zeus's attacks faster, so he deals more arc lightning damage to help clear waves and farm faster, as we talked about. But also, Yasha and Kaya increases your spell amplification so that weak arc lightning from lightning hands becomes stronger. So, already a lot of great synergy as you go from the phylactery slash, uh, you know, quick nuking ganking build to move towards. Uh, sort of a mid-game farming item so you can hit that second power spike timing of let's say an Ag Scepter or let's say you're going more auto attack it's gonna be like say a Hurricane Pipe or a BKB or something along those lines to ensure that you can constantly output see like right here it's just absolutely brutal for the guy so uh, after the Yasha and Kaya this kind of makes buying Mantis style all the more quicker um, because you already have the Yasha from the Yasha Kaya meaning you just have to buy the Diadem as well as the Mantis style recipe to get uh, to build that Mantis style eventually and then you get to keep the Kai, which is a nice bump of uh, damage for your spells anyway, as well as obviously your Arc Lightning that we talked about from your Lightning Hands. Um, you saw before one of the main goals of uh, Manta Style is one, you can summon Illusions to, gen to then just push down the wave. I think you can see that uh, down here, whatever my hands are pointing. Um, you can see those Illusions go down the, go down the lane, just start pushing it out, uh, which makes it a lot safer and efficient, right? Like kind of like a Luna or an Anti-Mage, you can use your Illusions to push down the lanes much deeper than you could while you safely farm the jungle. Obviously for this guy, he just farms super deep because they're winning very easily. Um, don't forget that Manta Style is also a great way to accelerate your farm much more quickly through your Illusions who are also dealing Arc Lightning damage through Lightning Hands. Kind of a no-brainer that one and then lastly uh, like the luna like the antimage right manta style is a great dispel when team fighting which is kind of important for a hero like zeus who doesn't really want to get caught or debuffed now with the kaya we can go for kaya sanji either right after uh, the manta style or at some point in your build uh, this is because as you shift into the late game you're going to be targeted and cc'd a lot and uh, this makes zeus Kind of a bit beefier, obviously it gives you a great spell damage amplification and it pairs well with your other items that you'd opt for like, you know, if you're a right clicker, we talked about a Black King Bar, Hurricane Pike, or Zeus can even shift into back into that kind of magic build that we talked about, which is uh, Octarine Core, Ag Scepter, Refresher, Ethereal Blade if you really want to, uh, and obviously the, the Sanjin Kai is a fantastic option or fantastic end item to have as well.
So um, basically you should see Zeus as kind of a great lane pusher, magic damage dealer, and mid game hero. The later the game goes, the better at surviving the enemy team will be with excessive health, uh, Pipe of Insight very popular, Eternal Shroud of course, uh, Black King Bar, etc. Um, but more importantly, you should definitely understand that Zeus has a strong power spike timing at 9 to 12 minutes with the phylactery and max lightning bolt. With that, you can pretty much secure the side lanes for your team and get a jump on the three main items we talked about, as well as, um, you know, the Ag Shard. Uh, in the late game, your goal is kind of just to be safe, send out your illusions as well as yourself, and just output as much lightning as as possible. Um, this right click build kind of goes really hard on high health heroes, but sometimes opting to pivot towards a magic build after Mount of Style is also justifiable, especially if you're playing against, let's say, agi heroes or heroes that have, um, that kind of play out of range from your attack, you know, like a sniper is probably a good example as well. Um, this is kind of one of the appeals for Zeus, right? Is that he can pivot towards spell based or physical attack based in the late game. They both have their merits depending on the team and uh, as well as the enemy matchup. <clears throat> so that's something to think about when playing Zeus. Really cool way to kind of play him. I play him a lot on stream though. Now that my games are going super late, you know, 40 to 50 minutes, doesn't really work out as much. Um, that said, my early to mid game, fantastic. Uh, trying to keep these new explained videos short, so let me know what you think. Thanks, and uh, have a good morning.